much lead is in the water where your kids go to school? Do you know? Well, it's something a lot of parents are concerned about lately. The Government Accountability Office reported 57% of school districts in America either did not test their water for lead or were unsure if they did. Tests are mandatory in only seven states. Investigator Rick Salinger has been looking into this for us. And Rick, you have talked to some pretty concerned parents. Well, the parents we spoke with, Karen, all have children in the Denver public school system. And in those schools, they have galvanized piping like this. DPS tested the water in the system two years ago. But these parents say that's not good enough. There is a spreading concern among parents across the country about the water their children drink in school. Brett Meeks is one of them. There's a lot of evidence that shows long-term exposure, even small amounts of lead, start to impact children's behavior, attention, hyperactivity. Denver Public Schools had its water fountains tested two years ago. It has been replacing them in other fixtures where lead readings were above acceptable limits. Amy Duclos says she and other parents had to come up with a good portion of the money. What they had said to me is that they consider the water to be safe that are in the buildings and therefore if we wanted filtered fountains that it was up to us, it was our choice to per proceed with filtered fountains. But Denver Public Schools says it would never ask parents to raise money to repair pipes and drinking fountains. However, documents the Duclos provided show for one school the DPS only covered some of the work. The problem is in what's called galvanized pipes like these. Lead can attach to the surface and enter the drinking water. This is what similar pipes can look like after several years. This is what the kids are drinking out of inside. You know, this is what's inside the buildings in Denver Public Schools. Problems were found and dealt with in Jefferson County Schools in 2016. Now in Detroit, fountains are being shut down and being replaced with water stations. In Pueblo, 50 water fountains in nine schools were recently repaired and replaced. This is an issue that's happening all across the country. Live at DPS headquarters, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. All right, Rick, thank you.